Hey y'all, this is Elizabeth with Mad for Macrame. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna macrame a heart coaster and I'll show you how. There's a few supplies that you'll need. I'm using Bobbini's five millimeter single strand cord in the color blush, scissors, something to comb the fringe out with like a comb or a brush. And you can either use some tape or a macrame board with a few pins. First, you'll need to cut your macrame cord. I'll list the measurements on the screen. Once you have your cords cut, I like to attach them to my macrame board. This is where you could use some tape. The board makes it so much easier because you can actually put two cords on at one time. So I like to fold my cords in half, make sure they're even, and then take this loop and stick it over the top. So what that does is it attaches two cords And they stay secure because this little loop. If you're just using tape, you would just tape your cords down and you would cut them half this amount. So instead of 40 inches, you would make them 20 inches long and just tape all the ends to your table. So you would cut them and then just tape them down leaving a little extra room at the top for your fringe. Make sure all of your cords are separated. Count over four cords and set them to the side. Also, over four and from the other side and move those out of the way. So we're going to start with these center cords here. This next set of four cords, this is where we're going to begin our square knots. This will be the top of the heart. To do a square knot you're going to make a four behind and through the loop. I don't like to tighten all the way to the top because that's where we're going to need our fringe on the on the edges. Then you're going to make a four with the opposite side. This cord comes behind up through that loop. I always start my square knots with making my fours on the right. That makes the piece look more consistent. So this one on the other side, the next four cords over, we're going to make a square knot and I'm going to start making the four the same direction I did before. And you want these two to kind of line up. That's why the board is so helpful because it has all the lines and you can really get your spacing accurate. So at this point, if you have a couple pins, place those in those square knots. It helps stabilize everything. You don't have to have them. If you're using tape, it will work just fine. Just try to keep everything spaced evenly. For the next set of square knots, we're gonna use 
two chords on the right from this one and our next two chords over. Start making that four. Do a square knot and then change sides. Now on the other side, we're gonna use these two from the first square knot we made. And then the next two and do the same thing. You're just mirroring each side. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to use two chords from that square knot we just made and the next two chords over. square knot and then we'll do the same thing on the other side now that you have three square knots starting at a diagonal coming to the center we're going to attach these two sides of the heart using two chords from this side and two chords from this side. We're going to start working on the outer sides of the heart. The four chords that you set to the side, the inner two, and two on the left side of that first square knot we made, you're going to make a square knot and join those two together. going to do the same thing on the other side. This last set of chords that we have on the outside Another square knot. Same thing on the other side. So we just made these end square knots on the side. You can move those cords out of the way. We need to join this center together with the four chords in the middle. Make a square knot here. And do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna join these together. So move these out of your way. Make another square knot with the next four. Starting on this side, take those two end cords and move them out of the way. Making a square knot with these four inner cords. Four chords.
cords on the side. I like to come down and make a square knot here. Same thing on the opposite side. Now you're going to do square knots all across connecting these two sides. Take your two outer cords and move them away. The next row will go straight across. These we won't be using anymore. That's going to give us some fringe on the sides. We're going to leave the two far cords on the right and the two far cords on the left. We're going to leave those out and then we're going to, you guessed it, do more square knots all the way across. We'll lift these two sides out and I don't want my point of my heart to come in too quickly so these two I'm going to bring those back in just like we did up here we're just going to come straight down and make a square knot Same thing on this side, just come straight down. Do square knots between these two, connecting them. Now, since we made this line, the two outermost cords from the right and the left, sit those to the side, you're not going to use those anymore. You're going to do square knots across the bottom. from the right and two from the left. Set those to the side and work three square knots. Take the two outermost cords, two from the right and two from the left, set those out, and then you're going to do 
make two square knots at the bottom. And again, two from the right and two from the left. Set those out. And now you're going to do your last square knot. You can remove your heart from the board. Now you'll take your comb or your brush, however you choose to do it. Some people untwist these. I don't, I just like to start combing. You comb all this fringe out all the way around. Then you're gonna trim it into a heart shape. <laughs> 